Hello again everybody, this is Amargan and you're very welcome back to another episode of Star Trek Fleet Command Gaze. And despite all of the negativity that's out there, Amargan is a little bit excited because this has taken over two years to come. And I'm sitting here, Gaze, listening to all of the feedback, listening to all of you guys giving out about it. And I sympathize completely, but I'm here to tell you guys that it is possible to do this Alliance-based event, free to play. I've done it. I'm going to walk you through how I've done it here, guys. It's my first ever Armada, so sit back, and hopefully this will be of some benefit to some of you guys out there. So guys, the first thing I had to do was to update the app on the phone, to update the client, update the app on your device and whatever you need to do. And then you're able to go in, you're able to select an Armada target once it's generated uh, by an Alliance member. Now, this is an Alliance-based event, so you quickly realize if you don't have a strong Alliance that uh, you need to ultimately find one or you need to buddy up with somebody there that's a little bit stronger. I don't want this to turn into an opinion piece on whether this is good content or whether it's not we'll come to that in a community panel discussion guys very very soon i want this to be more of an instructive sort of thing for me to guide you through how i done this it may not be possible for some of you guys to do it like this and i sympathize fully but here it is this is the way a free to play can do this event and um, so essentially you, you partner up with your alliance members the stronger alliance members for us uh, what i re realized was that econ was leading the way econ had obviously bought a pack and he'd 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 fast track this a little bit so essentially we started to slipstream econ we started to ride on his coattails a little bit and uh, econ took a group of the alliance members out and we started to be able to go out and attack these bases and join in with these armadas so where uh, you were uh, once you've updated the app i was able to select the icon and and select join now essentially what i realized was happening was uh, a strange mechanic where uh, the stronger ship will boot out the the lowest a strength ship out of the list now econ had his uh, alliance uh, sorry his armada's uh, control center up to level 20 or, or beyond so he was able to have four in it one of them one of them spaces is taken up by himself obviously so three more could then take place i was lucky enough to have uh, a strong enough centurion to displace some of the other guys and this can turn out to be a little bit chaotic you need to work out some sort of uh, agreement some sort of gentleman rules within your own alliance because this can be quite divisive if people are essentially displacing their own alliance members uh, to get in there and take part in the uh, base hitting is essentially what it is you're attacking these little uh, space stations out in these various different systems now go on to LKR's guys and check out what those systems are I leave a link below I don't want to labor too much of that sort of detail if you want to just read on uh, costs and different things and locations and all of that LKR's is the place you want to go I'm just going to walk you through this how I done it so where uh, you you, you, see, you, you see these bases here, you select it. Now, I can't build it, I can't do it obviously because I haven't got my Armada Control Center, so I go in to check out uh, what's going on there and have a wee bit of a nosy what it's going to cost me. And I can see I need the uh, control center at level one before I do that. So I, I go in to uh, check out what I need for that, and essentially uh, you have to do a piece of research. So that brings you then into your research tree and there it is you need a thousand of those items those uh, tactical cores uh, quite difficult to come by they can be bought uh, they can be uh, obtained through the current events that are on but they can also be purchased through your alliance uh, store guys so uh, when you accrue armada credits which is the currency that you get from participating in armadas uh, that currency will allow you to buy a pack within your alliance store uh, which will give you some of these tactical cores. We'll come back to that maybe in a, in a wee moment, uh, but the tactical cores are the baby. There's my, pa my pack available. Um, I'll select that, and uh, out of that I get barely enough. I'd already taken part in an armada or two, so I'd gotten uh, some of the currency and different things. Um, but essentially, guys, uh, this has allowed me to go and build my armadas uh, control center. So uh, I'll, I'll rush through a little bit of that in terms of the footage, I'll speed through that. Um, but once you have your, your Armada's control center built, then you can start uh, to uh, select to do an Armada yourself. So the various different systems, like I say, different level bases that you'll be hitting. And uh, 
uh, different alliance members there that will be will be looking to join in with you. Um, a wee aside from all of that for a moment, uh, the game has been having its issues with loading. It's, it, it, none of these uh, content uh, that's released by, by, by Scopely is ever smoothly done. The rollout's never smoothly done. Um, a nice new loading screen there, all right, similar to a thumbnail that I might use. But uh, loading screens are a very, very difficult uh, thing to bite your tongue about when uh, this new content is there and you get you want to get stuck into it and there's problems with it in terms of uh, access and this sort of content and then on top of it bugs and all of that kind of thing we're sick of seeing that there but uh, we'll try and get past it guys and adopt a, a, a positive attitude like I say I don't want it to be an opinion piece so um, uh, I'll rush through some of these speed ups here um, a person like me I hoard my speed ups especially four times like this um, I'm really really glad that uh, I was able to do it if you guys haven't been playing for as long as me and you don't have the speed ups guys then uh, unfortunately you're just gonna have to wait on, on the timer to be up or maybe you've got a decent alliance there and you're gonna get plenty of helps so that'll help speed that up but if you do have the speed ups guys then you rush through this uh, this armada control center as much as you possibly can that will also tick the boxes in terms of hitting the uh, current event uh, targets for that and uh, all of that will help um, grease the wheel so to speak and uh, once you have that then you can start looking at setting your own armada like we had already said so you go around you find your target you set your armada uh, with a ship you select it make sure you have the correct ship selected and then you choose to launch the armada and a notification will go into your alliance chat guys and let people know the location of that which is a nice little feature in it and um once you rush through some of these, essentially you're going to be stuck at uh, three spaces for a while until you get this to level 20. I hit a wall at around level 14, uh, have to go out and get more of those tactical cores. So they seem to be difficult enough to come by and it would be nice to see uh, those being made available a little bit more easily. Um, but however, tomorrow is another day. Hopefully we'll get to level 20 on that day, uh, Armada's Control Center tomorrow. And... Um, be able to accommodate uh, three alliance members instead of two uh, as it is at the moment so uh, all ships engage guys a 15 minute timer um, everybody gathers like I said the, uh, the the stronger ship will displace the weaker ship so there's there's always that possibility of a little bit of uh, um, fractious behavior within an alliance um, so courtesy is always recommended and um, if possible, set up your own party, agree beforehand who's going to take part, announce it and explain to people uh, who, who you want in your armada and uh, and hopefully people will respect that and join with it. Um, uh, just a wee note on that, it is possible to be participating in somebody else's armada and then go and set your own. I've done this already and can confirm it. So uh, likewise you would expect then if you have already set your own armada, if you have another ship available you can then go and participate in somebody else's. So that's all good, but you, I suppose you, you want to be giving your alliance members a leg up. So for us essentially the policy is to pay it forward and once you've gotten your, your uh, armada control center built, uh, you will then um, create your own armada, so use your di uh, directives, the, the, the third item that you want to be uh, accruing in the, these, uh, these events, and uh, you use your directives, 100 directives to launch an armada, and that will allow you to accommodate two more alliance members, three more alliance members to come in and join with you. Um, and hopefully defeat a target. What I'm finding at the moment is if you're hitting a level 29 you need an overall sort of strength of uh, something like uh, one and a half million thereabouts. Um, anything less it could get tricky but there are targets that out there guys that are as low as 21 or whatever so uh, go out and find a target that's uh, reasonable enough for your strength. It's always nice to have a heavy hitter come in and join with you of course makes the thing a little bit easier but if you're going with people around your own level then try to maximize uh, the strength of your ships together and uh, remember of course that some officers like Harrison and Talan and these ones their their abilities don't work here um, so I'm almost coming to the end guys um, that's the way I've done it uh, I've rocked through that uh, uh, Armada control center um, joined as many armadas as I could uh, from the Alliance um, tried to stay courteous to, to the guys um, lucky to have home guys I, I understand completely that many of you don't have a decent Alliance out there 
Um, I understand many of you people are unhappy that you have to go and pay money to uh, to get uh, fast track on this and that uh, some people have done that but make that work to your benefit guys buddy up with the people that are fast tracking if you can there's always got to be one person there that's a little bit of a decent skin and try to buddy up with them and uh, get them to give you a wee bit of a leg up and then pass that pass that forward yourself then by uh, inviting people who are going to assist others to join in with your armada so there's the uncommon chess guys some nice parts out of that i'll not complain too much about that it's a pity they're so hard to come by a few uh, tactical cores in there too which all helps with the uh, upgrading the uh, control center and uh, remember we're going to come back with a community panel discussion guys and discuss the pros and the cons of this the ups and the downs of it we'll do our proper opinion piece on it so in advance of that if you'd like to express your opinion and have that reflected within the community panel come into discord check out the link let us know your thoughts and your feelings and we'll we'll try our best to reflect the the thoughts and the feelings that are out there it's very clear already on discord what, what what's going on so uh, i'll get back to that and uh, until the next time guys uh, look out for each other and look after yourselves and i'll chat to you all again very soon cheers <laughs>